No, no, no. That's what Mental, don't spill your tequila. That's like 10 bucks a tequila in that one glass. No, 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 no. no. I'm, uh, we're, he gets the joke. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Here. here comes the theme. It's an irrelevant joke. Shut up. Joke. Welcome to Everyone Racers. I'm so sorry. A we're podcast live. Desi- a live podcast <laughs> designed for the world of low dollar racing and oddball car culture. Whatever your kind of LeChump track dog, actually, it should be LeChamp now. Yeah. SCCA yeah, or NASA, is. we don't discriminate. We even think you Drifto Hella Flush guys are, right? As long as you drive it hard and built it yourself. Join us each week for tech discussion, tips, tricks, news and notes from the world of low buck racing. And if you can handle it, Chrissy will give you just the tip. I'll be your pit marshal. My name is Jeff. Everyone report to the paddock. This is Chris. This is Chrissy. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mental. And I'm Jim. Hey, Jim! Special guest star Yay! featuring Jim. Automatically fade the music out. <laughs> Please and, and then Jeff <laughs> says... <laughs> and green. we are everyone racers. <laughs> Sorry, usually I do that with like two hands. I'm not like holding a speaker to the microphone. No, normally you have a plate of spaghetti to your face. I know. Uh, <laughs> thank you for coming back and listening to another awesome episode of our podcast. We are Facebooking live at the moment. So if you're watching us live, we apologize for everything that we look like. <laughs> for the, what, last 20 last minutes? last 20 minutes that you've watched us not know how to set up our own equipment. I would like to mention that I have a degree in radio and television from Monmouth University. You've never said that. So do not send your children there if they have to podcast. Oh, no. I, I have a I'm degree in philosophy. I'm just saying. Ma- maybe they teach how to podcast these days. But anyway, welcome to episode 15. Is that correct? I, 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 think I you're did. actually I, correct. I changed it <laughs> because nobody changed it Thanks. when I was supposed to say it. So, my... so we've got recording and number of podcast episodes down. So we're we are on our way. Well, I feel like we're, we're, we're this close to the Grand Tour. It, this close. It's basically like we dressed ourselves and we pooped today. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, can, can that's we get a to good the, start? Can we get to the first topic? Yeah. <laughs> what you working? I don't on? know. Can we get to the first? Mental. Mental. Mental what you're you up. What you working on? Uh, yard work. So I've, I actually had a pile of leaves the size of my suburban. And so I've been burning them, much to the annoyance of my neighbors, all day. The mailbox project got a coat of because uh, you're from the south and. Yeah, we can burn. We can just we can just burn stuff there exactly, and then uh, and then the mailbox project got a coat of poly. When that's all done, we'll put that on the Facebook page. And then the big thing is, uh, I had a minor road trip today because I'm up here to pick up. uh, We'll we'll talk about what I'm up here to pick up later. Wait, hold on, man. I'm gonna open up my non-alcoholic beverage because I'm driving home tonight. Sorry, not sorry. You're the only fool it is. (laughs) (laughs) You you sound like that guy on WKRP that used to open the Perrier bottles every time you would. You go. There's an obscure TV reference for yeah, you that only We're Brett gonna Sloman's going to get because we love that guy. Wow. As, uh, as God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> uh, so I guess I will go next and say what Mental is here to pick up. Mental is picking up my janky half magic trailer. Thank you, Bruce Leody, if you're out there for selling it to me. Well, he'll be out there eventually. Oh, yeah. He'll, down- he'll download it. Um, he's got nothing he, else to do in the Verizon. Exactly. Truck all day I think he's already. Us. I think he's already liked our live Facebook. Feed oh, too, so maybe so. he is watching. So, <laughs> so several years ago, five years ago, no, yeah, just yeah. about five Ooh. years ago, he sold me some trailer that some dude left in his yard for like eight hundred dollars, <laughs> and I have been whipping, flogging the donkey. As long as I could, bringing this thing up and down the East Coast to Lemons Races. Chris, what does it weigh? Uh, I, I think it's mostly made of depleted uranium. <laughs> <laughs> because I once hooked it to, the, to, the, to my three-quarter ton Suburban, and I have never, ever seen the truck sag so much <laughs> as when that thing... And I was, it was empty, and I was moving it around the paddock, and that was it. Yeah, so it's wonderful, it's great, but Jim, next to me, my brother... We uh we bought an enclosed trailer this summer, the black Heck magic yeah. trailer. Or is so, or as your neighbors call it Christmas decorations. Chris, no, it is not decorated. I did not get a chance to decorate oh. it. Oh wow. Wait, is that in the Hello Sweet or Retire World? No, I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. Come it on. was last week in episode thirteen slash fourteen slash twelve. Shut up. <laughs> so shut up. in order to prepare this to for mental to take it away and make my wife happy, by the way, she'd like to mention that if it breaks in half, 
you keep both halves, all right? You can't prove it's mine. It stays where it falls <laughs> off. <laughs> you can't prove where it owns right? it. And the, in the immortal uh, memory of my Oki friends, if it falls off the trail the truck, it can't be traced to me. It stays there. And and sure. I would never say live on a podcast, but it has never <laughs> been titled to my name <laughs> in the five years that I've used it. So yeah, it still has New York plates. Still has New York plates what, on it. Eleven, <laughs> and they're not Bruce's because he didn't title, he didn't it, either. title it either. Your good thing is Georgia. I'm pulling those plates off of it because don't need them. No need them. Our light went out. Do we yeah. need your, your, light is your cat over here <laughs> turning off no, light? A it's a, so so. <laughs> here is here is the things that I did today. I got up. I started up the avalanche and had I, a good poop. Had, yeah, exactly. And immediately, my daily driver <laughs> Mazda three did not start. Battery totally flat. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. I plugged it in. Everyone who knows you. I plugged it in. I, I, it was dead in Atlanta. Well, That's in Atlanta. Atlanta. I know. How I know. many times in Atlanta did you hook up to the generator? I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to pause you, you, you right you there. there real. I want. I want you to continue this story. But my wife, who is now absorbed the unhappiness of your wife because I now own the Yankee j- trailer, has just said that trailer better not break. And you know what? You answer to the angry Mexican. So oh, whatever. That's fine. She doesn't know where I live. Uh, <laughs> it's only going to be. She between. can find out. <laughs> she could. It's only going to be between her, here. She calls and her cousin who mows your lawn. It's not that I hard. I am. I am reasonably <laughs> <Mexican> sure. <Americans. laughs> I am, I'm reasonably sure it's going to make the school. state line. I'm rather sure. Which, which state line? Uh, Pennsylvania yes. state line. <laughs> I am rather <laughs> sure it's going to be closer to you when it breaks than it will be to me. <laughs> and that's fine. It's true. It's, it's, already, it there. it's already set that yeah, way. Yeah. So, so, You're already caught halfway across. My <laughs> so anyway, so I go get the janky trailer, which I have not moved in like a year. And the tire is completely flat. One of the four tires. Oh, it's not flat. flat. No, no, frozen. Different one. Flat. Different one. Oh, different no, 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 one. Deco, I'm sorry. No, the other one was different like one. an Art Deco. That was already. Project. That was already well shredded. But, but I knew that the shredded tire had to be replaced. So I'm like, well, screw it. I have to do two anyway. Oh, I would not God. send mental with a bad tire. I did not bring a DC pump, and I had to call my brother. <laughs> again, sitting next to me, he could say hi. Hello. <laughs> We're sharing a mic. <laughs> he had to come get me because I did not bring a pump. We pumped the tire. This is time number one. This is you're, time number one. Time number one. We, yeah, your, we, yeah, drug, we drug the tire like 50 yards to where we can plug in the pump, the AC pump out of my father's RV because it lives there. Because <laughs> no one can find a DC pump. I asked my wife to look. She couldn't find it. Jim looked. You couldn't find this. So anyway, we plug in the AC pump. We pump up the tire. It gets totally round. And I continue to drag it because the brakes are locked. (laughs) The wheel will not move. So Jim and I, like, pry on the thing for, like, ten minutes. No freaking way. And this is while Jim is working. working. Yes, he's at work. He's officially at work. work. I drag the thing. I drag it really far. I was like, screw it, because I don't want to get an E. All right. So I drag it, like, at 20 miles an hour. It's just – it's just – it's like sounds. It's screeching like a like a. Is like anybody a burnout else in the parking lot? No, no. I'm just dragging around the buildings because it's a storage unit. So <laughs> I was wondering if there's so any good, other people around. So, so I, I do thirty. They're, they're used to random <laughs> screeching. Right, no, they're like that's that guy. I do, it's I do it's New Jersey. Exactly. Going, eh, I, I, it doesn't sound like a murder. I drag it at ten. It goes. <laughs> I drag it at twenty. It goes. Ee. I drag it at forty. It goes. Ee. <laughs> it's nothing moving it. So Jim goes. Your trailer plug's not bro- not plugged in. I said, I know. I tried it plugged in. I tried it not plugged in. It doesn't work. I plug it in. It immediately starts rolling. Because because all things electronic are afraid Jim of is your, afraid hey. of Jim, Jim is your giant brain. <laughs> Th- thanks Jim to Jim for giant. actually being smart. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I, I don't know what the hell's going on. So, uh, wait, so wait, wait, wait. Hang on. There's a weird, janky electrical problem in your truck and or trailer. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> So anyway, so I, I don't believe so it. So I, I take the sh- so I drag it back to my house. <laughs> everything works fine. It works great. The brakes are working in the avalanche. Everything. So uh, um, I take the tire off that is fragged. I throw it in the back of the Mazda. I throw the shredded tire in the back of the Mazda. I go to the trailer place, try the tire place. Guy says, "Oh yeah, look, I do that all the time." He looked. I will post a picture of the shredded tire it's amazing. on Facebook. It's, it's amazing. pretty. It's, it's pretty. It's, it's pretty it's fly. Phenomenal. I said, "Have you ever seen something like this?" He goes, "Twice a week, put it on." The guy's like, "Fine." <laughs> right? Okay. 
He says, leave it for me for an hour. I'm like, great. I drive to lunch. I turn off the car. I get lunch. And the car battery is dead again. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No one saw this coming. Yeah, the shut car up. battery. <laughs> shut up. Do you so, take my generator home? So, so, so I call it's a really Jim, nice generator. and I'm like, hey, Jim, I know you're working. And he says, wait, are, are you all get ready for this. He says, actually, I'm picking up Dad. He just blew the clutch in his Mazda 3 oh. for the second time oh, no. in 100,000 miles. I bet he's got a good battery. Your though. dad is gentle on cars. <laughs> he is the hooniest 70-year-old man you have ever met in your life. He was out measuring his TSD rally. I don't know what he did. Whatever. The, he fragged the clutch again. I still like when he did the Dukes of Hazard in a Scion, Saturn Ion yes. and basically and, endowed it. <laughs> Jim, Jim texts me and he says, he says, guess what dad did his car while he was measuring the rally? And I said, did he blow another motor? He said, no, he blew another clutch. Whatever. So does he get them done or does he? Yeah. Do, no, no, no. He does oh. No. I'm We're sure not. as hell not going to do them. No way. I'm Sorry. doing his clutch. Sorry. So, so, anyway, so Jim jump starts me. Getting good at that kind of thing. Rescues me again. We go back to my house. We eat some excellent pho, right? It's pretty good. Pho, pho. whatever. Be, be, be very pho. careful what how you pronounce it. Pho. It, pho. Was, it was soup. Pho. pho. <laughs> beef soup. It was beef soup. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Jim's brand Meat new water. Lexus, his hood won't stay closed because now he's jump-started me. We had to do it. What wait, happened? wait, wait. So the jankiness of your Mazda has now infected his totally kind of. sweet Lexus? Hold on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently um, the release latch, when you pull on it, it kind of stays a little pulled a little bit and poked at it with a screwdriver. Well, that's because it it's it's hasn't been exercised much during the life of the car. <laughs> it just stays shut. Yeah, it's on the Lexus. Why yeah. are you opening my hood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong here. All right. So, so anyway, so I go get the tires. I put them on. I... The Miata is still on. I roll the Miata off. I hook that up to. Oh, I got a new battery. Got a new battery at Sam's. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Finally, a new, a new, new Mazda battery. We're Put it on give Sam's. You a new one. Immediately, it started jump starting the Miata because what else do you do with a daily driver other than jump start your Miata? I open the trunk of the Miata. Now, remember, Jim has rescued me twice because I needed jumper cables. No, no, no. Twice in one day. Twice Let's in one day. Because sure I needed jumper cables and a pump. Guess what was in the tr- trunk <laughs> of the Miata? A cat. Jumper cables. <laughs> Jumper cables and <laughs> the a raccoon and a pump. <laughs> because you, you what, said guess. What is in the? What is like the, like that episode of cat. Family Guy? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, in the trunk of the Miata, it could be a small like, refugee family Absolutely. at this point because <laughs> totally, it's just been sitting there, and they, they're okay with small Jump, spaces. Jumper cables, DC tire pump in the trunk of the Miata, where they belong, because where else are you going to need it other than in your Miata? I in finish, your Miata. In my Miata, absolutely. I finish it up. I, I take everything out of the trailer. I roll here only about an hour late. That's the end of the story. And, and that and, caused and me six to win. minutes early. Yep. Damn it. It caused me to win the over under pool with Jeff <sighs> on or with, with with mental on when is Jeff gonna arrive. We had prices right rules. Yes, close minutes. enough to yeah, close enough without going over. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Okay. Six minutes. I'd like to point out that twelve hours ago I predicted when I would arrive here and I was within nine minutes you of were my good. projected you were. arrival time. You were good. I, I believe I said I was coming at eight and I was eight oh six. No, you, you did, said you were yes. coming at eight at like seven forty. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it was six, it was much early. Yeah, it was yeah. much earlier. Right. Okay, all right. So, all right. Hey, Chris, hey, what are you working on? Let's get out of well, my hey, story. <laughs> back to normal life and things. Uh, we put the Civic and the NSX away for the winter in the storage garage. <laughs> totally, Do you want to tell the story totally about that? creepy rolling up to your house and not Tell seeing the, the Civic on that? the trailer. That is, it, it, it it's it's unsettling. Yeah, because I'm so used to seeing your house with either you know this the the infamous Spam Honda or Mister Fister. So, yeah, we we tried to do it the other day. We you know, hooked up the trailer. And Chrissy got in the NSX, and we drove over I to the dr- garage. I drove the NSX over to the garage. We've this totally high five. This is the first time that we've turned the lights on at night. The, the lights are glorious. They're really good. <laughs> lights. They're glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about that car is great. So uh, we drove over to the storage <laughs> garage. We get there, and we I need a, we need a reverb switch when you say glorious. Uh-huh. Glorious. glorious. Glo- yeah, oh, where's the other? Yeah. <laughs> it's glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. I'll steal my son's no reverb worries. pedal the next time. We get there, and I, 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 I'm good. I got the keys to the garage. 
we had the keys. The NSX. I was. I brought a ten millimeter socket to undo the battery in the NSX. I brought the screwdriver to undo the battery on Scooty because we were leaving Scooty there. I brought the wrench to undo the little thing that holds Scooty's little um, holder that sits on the trailer. I brought all that stuff. Guess what I didn't bring? Civic keys. Yeah. Keys to the Civic. (laughs) So let's just check facts. Our race car still has a steering lock, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It still has the original steering column, which I keep saying, get a removable. He's like, nope, not going to do it. This works. Because we made are so annoying to replace. There's no. We could replace the hub on the list. And we've actually tasked that to Jim over the winter. Yes, that is my winter project. Yes, is figure out how we get a removable steering column with a button built in through the hub so we don't have that janky wire that wraps around the steering column and breaks every couple years. So that's Every Jim's product. Which races. honestly, you know, right. but you, yeah, you, assigned it, you assigned it to Jim, which there's no, and, and I say this with actually without any mockery, there's actually no fail in that plan because right. it, it'll be done and other people will come over and go, how'd you guys do that? And they'll start taking notes. So yeah, it'll work. It, it'll be awesome. It, it, it'll, it'll take a while, but it'll get done properly. And that's exactly. what's exactly <laughs> like, that's Jim. That's so, Jim. Um, so we put those away for eventually, so eventually we came back and actually when we did that, I realized I'd never put the winter wheels on. So I still had the race tires on. So that well, was a perfect so excuse while I was on the we trailer. I put the, the winter wheels on, which are a set of all Integra Fat Fives with snow tires from 2001. <laughs> so Did we run a race great. on those once? No, no. no, no. The, fat, right. the Fat Fives held up my Civic. That was Jim's <laughs> Civic <laughs> right. for a little while. Yeah. That we and sold then, to somebody. Then I had them team. on my my, <laughs> my white Miata, my five hundred dollar white Miata. Yeah, yeah, that I drove. I drove oh, that. That was my five hundred dollar white Miata. Yeah. The so Barbie Miata. The Barbie Miata. The Barbie Miata. So yeah. I daily drove that for like a year after Babe Rally because that's what we do. <laughs> and so I had those Top on down. because I just happened to have these snow tires. I'm like, all right, I'll put them on the Miata, and they were great. Um, so anyway, the, the, they're all in there. All the four cars. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I want to continue, but uh, like apparently now, Safari Miatas are getting to be a thing, which officially makes three pedal mafia trendsetters. Sure. If I still, if I had the white Miata when that was a thing, I totally would have lifted it and put oh, some twenty. Oh yeah, that would have been awesome. Um, well, so, I, I would do that to my Miata, but I gave it to my father. Right. Because clearly, what he needs is more stuff to hoon. Right. No. Well, he well, needs no. more stuff for you to have to fix. Well, he has a, an MGTD and a WRX that neither of them moved in years in, in his driveway already. All so. right, to be fair, the WRX is mine. <laughs> it's, it's still there. <laughs> and, no, no, no. and I bought. A hey, if any so if I anyone out there to... would like, no, a... no, no, wait, actually, no, 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 no actually, yeah, mental needs a track I car. I already have a potential buyer for the WRX. Really, and, and Aaron, a backup buyer. Aaron contacted me after last show and said he wants the WRX. Fine. And so it's Aaron, he is so, in yeah. Pennsylvania, it's Aaron, all right. and it's a quarter million mile WRX, so it works. All right. Are you so, done? Anyway, you done? in the garage right now is the Citroen, the MG. Citroen. How's the Citroen paper going? Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> did you send Did you send to Rhode Island? <laughs> yeah, no, Rhode Island, Rhode Island is sent, not returned. Okay. Same so, place so, it was so last. So there is nothing else you can do now. <laughs> no, no, we're waiting on Rhode Island. Can we call them? Little little Rhodey doesn't do things all that fast, so no. let's see uh, But how it's goes. holidays, too, so. Uh, even worse. Um, you didn't include some cannolis as a bribe. Uh, no. so, okay. Um, we, we moved the Citroen, though. We pushed it. We pushed it with, forward with, with force. 10 feet and then pushed it back 10 feet, and it's getting moldy inside. Yeah. Okay, okay. And the um, and the tires are super flat. So, so I, like, we, yeah, I'd like to say both to our Facebook Live and our podcast listeners, so if you've been holding out waiting for that one affordable Citroen coupe, <laughs> your time. SM. This, this SM. will be the cheapest running and driving Citroen SM in the country. Oh, we're in doing, the world. No, no, we're doing it. We're going to do bring a trailer. We in. are. It's also the cheapest caged Citroen. race car with provenance. Citroen. 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 And I, I feel Citroen. like I feel like this Jeff, is, this but, is, you can butcher Citroen okay, better right? than anybody. Citroen. I feel like sort of. this is this can is the go? this is the second time you guys yes. have set wait, 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 a shut record. Shut up. Chrissy, what you working on? <laughs> Mental will have more tequila. Uh, maybe I should stop being at the end of the group of yes. this crap. Um, so we trekked. We didn't even talk about Christmas. So like in between. Nobody we cares. Had Christ- oh, fine. That's later. Uh, so for our Christmas. So <laughs> the last couple of days we went north, went to Boston to see Chris, uh, Chris's mom. That was great. And then we came back for our Christmas Eve. And now we're cleaning. This is what I'm doing, right? If we're talking about what? Oh, Sorry. Chrissy has to Mike, hold her mic Mike better. problems. Um, now we're cleaning up race stuff. So I, I did a really good job of cleaning up. Uh, we hadn't touched stuff from Atlanta. 
when we came back. We yeah. threw boxes and all of our race gear and everything in this room. Well, because so we've been to Florida since then. We've been here, like we've been here about four days. Right. So the last couple of days, I had been. I we washed our race suits. Uh, we cleaned out all of the race boxes and actually put stuff away. So we're it's sitting a, in the room where all to make of the bed where Mental and Jim are going to sleep. Anybody tonight. who's seeing us, this Met is beds, where all of our uh, bed. prep. If you, if you guys want to, it's cool. <laughs> Hey, hey, what even just happened here? He's, he's cuddly. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> this is what happened here. Sorry. So um, the room that we are talking in is the room, our prep room. I usually spread all of the race gear and all of the race stuff out all over here, this room, and, and I'd, put I'd it like, all away. I'd like to point out that this is the room on the first floor that is the farthest away from the garage. They, they, you know, they're they they're organized and they're put together. But it's close but to the front door. they found the farthest direction away. Oh, it's no. In the garage. Wait, this it's is close to the front door, and it's also <laughs> the second half of our living room of our <laughs> fairly open floor plan house that doesn't make any sense if we don't have any use well, for it. And so, it, it wasn't yeah. it wasn't an open floor plan when you guys started. You guys have done a lot it, of work in now. this place. Right. And it's incidentally and uh and uh Jeff, you got to see the uh, remodeled bathroom. How is it? It's a uh, lovely it I is, love it the floor. Uh, yeah. The floor is amazing. How was your bathroom experience? I, it was. It uh, it all worked out at the end. Excellent. I'm glad. <laughs> no, no, no. But again, we 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 uh, Jeff and I were probably the only ones who missed the light switch. The uh, the cutter side around, light you know, switch. Did the side. Oh, you were so not. <laughs> no. Everybody I know said Who's that they had a problem house. with the lights. Everyone hated <laughs> the light switch. You know, it was a lemony solution. And it worked it exactly. It no, no, and I, I, I loved it because it was a, it was a, it was a personal touch. But it, you, you guys are still <laughs> maintaining. It was not a personal touch. It was just <laughs> it was janky. What happened? Okay. All right, Chrissy, what else you got? You got anything else? The janky show. Uh, oh, thank you. Same no, thing. or like uh, all over your time. No, right. No, we just had some. We'll talk yeah, about Christmas Yeah, our time is later. currently twenty one twenty six. Uh, this is going to be longer than an hour. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, we keep it tight. Okay. It's only twenty one twenty six. Yeah, all right, we, let's move on. We don't have that much because we don't have any news and notes. We had some news and notes. Let's oh. Not that much, but Let's yes, only notes. a little. Okay, keep news and notes. Yay! I'm good. Thanks. Are, are you done? I'm I don't done. To, okay, thank you. Uh, news and notes. <laughs> we, we don't want to interrupt Chrissy. No. We should be no. conscious of not Shut interrupting. Chrissy. Well, and and she's close enough to punch us, and we all know who's going to win in a fair fight. Uh, Mental, you have news and notes. Okay, so Jeff, guess who's not racing an NCM this year? Uh that, you. Why do you say that? Because Lemons isn't going back to, to NCM. So, lesson learned, you need to race more. Actually, the nope. reason I was asking is because I may have a seat oh. and a trip with a uh, Corvette club <gasps> from what? Pennsylvania to <gasps> NCM. Dope. Really? Yes. So, you're going to bring the Honda so and go on, faster than no. the Lemons? Give me a high five for that sorry. one. Sorry. Uh, you're bringing, there we go. You're, well played, you're, Brian. You're, you're going to track job. your Corvette? Really? So it is possible. So no. we were, we were uh, during the Christmas season, the wife and I were hanging out with uh, the wife, friends of the beautiful home. Jen. Yes, the lovely, intelligent Jennifer. And um, patient. It, true. She, uh, we were visiting friends in Pennsylvania who have several Corvettes. And I was talking to him about lemons. How and many he was gold chains about all these do they things. have? None. All of them. None. He has a. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You, you. He has a, he's a large medallion. There's a Corvette he, owner in Pennsylvania who doesn't have a gold a chain. Fifty-eight unicorn Corvette. A nine early nineties and a two thousand and eight Grand Sport, maybe. No, Z I'll take your word. One of what is something? Oh, I don't sorry. know. He's he's one of these sportier models, not the standard. Um, and he goes to track days with his Corvette club, and, and his tank top. Since his Corvette club <laughs> his donated <laughs> to the origination of the NCM track, Sinkhole. they get a track day. It, it's a lovely track. Like it is a fast track. Yeah, and if you do the full Sinkhole. the full grand course, I, I don't know what we're doing. The full grand course is great. So what it would is. you do? You, you miss trailer the down? No, I would take take the Corvette. The wife and I and the Corvette on new tires. Drive down. Those. Continental. Drive down. Extreme Contact Sports. Extreme Contact Sports. Which, yeah. Sure. Uh, and then we will really? do some track days. And, uh, and, and while on your way down, stop in Nashville, see my sister-in-law. She's the bar manager at a great Mexican when, restaurant. When when is that, curiously? Uh, it's sometime over the summer. He does not know. So are you going to potentially be an instructor? Uh, That'd be fun if you get that. Because, you know, know, Extreme Experience... Who should totally sponsor us, by the way? Extreme Experience has uh, managed to do. A, uh, they're they're trying to do an event down there as nice. well. Nice. So. Well, th so there it is. So there is your. Wait, wait, wait. Do we get an E on Facebook Live? Yeah. yeah. We always. <laughs> <laughs> wait, then, then this is visual. <laughs> 
screw <laughs> you, man. We do some. We have some fantastic people watching. So we have Jen is watching. My wife is watching. Uh, she's not watching anymore. Um, <laughs> she's yeah. had enough right of this clown up. show. I'm out of here. Bruce is watching. She heard enough about the trailer. Hey, hey Bruce. And my cousin Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hey, oh, hello. Hey. All right, you, know, so, you know who else is, is probably not watching, but will watch later, and is a lovely fan. Chrissy's, Chrissy's mom. mom. Who got us all cookies. <laughs> totally got us all cookies. I love Not the cookies. cookies. Love I, the didn't, cookies. I didn't get cookies. Dude, you, you get so cookies You got so time. many cookies. <laughs> She's going to be mad. Anyway, <laughs> you have other news Sorry, and Kyle. notes, Mental. Keep I going. Do. All right, so real quick. I get uh, lots of cookies. Our, uh, well, at least my friend, uh, uh, Bradley Brown now, he runs the uh, Radwood thing. And if you guys haven't been following the Radwood Facebook page, you should go look because it's awesome 80s and oh, 90s stuff. I'm sorry. And Vicky's there. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. And no she's hi, Vicky. Mad. No, she's no, yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't me, babe. It was totally her. Uh, we so did, we don't blame you for giving up on watching him. <laughs> you've, got, so, you've got a day me? and a half off. I wouldn't watch him either. So, so Keith, uh, Keith Tanner on the Radwood page. Keith Tanner got a first generation CRX SI with these totally sweet wheels yeah, Keith's, and Keith's the original. Had that for a while. Yeah, and it's totally uh, awesome foam rubber spoiler from the. I mean, literally the first generation yeah. SI. We're going to share that. We've shared that on our Facebook. Go check that out because it is just, it is, it's rad. I had it's two awesome. of those and they are wonderful cars. Now, I've been watching Keith's on the GRM page. He's been yes. nicely follow, posting updates along great the way. Guy. Keith, he seems like a great guy. I, I loved my two first gen CRXs. <sighs> the first one was a black 86 I bought for 900 bucks. And then, I then swapped, I, I then bought an, an 87 Integra for $300. And put the and, suspension under it. And the motor and the trans and the brakes <laughs> and everything. And then Coney's and ground controls. And then I would take it up to the New England Dragway and I'd run low 15s and I'd beat Chevelles and stuff. Oh, they and hate the, that. The, the, the announcer would heckle the <laughs> Chevelle drivers. <laughs> and I was running the stock 14-inch wheels on all-season tires that I'd air down to 12 PSI. And, oh. and so it was great. And it got 35 miles to the gallon. The wonderful car. That eventually all donated most of its greasy bits to the Hung Nor Yellow CRX. Which they 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 have the ghost of in their garage. Yeah, still. the yellow CRX eventually won the challenge. That was nice. Fun. So I quite enjoyed my first gen CRXs. All right. Sorry. That's it. Next. No, no. And, and, and uh, I'll just, uh, I met Keith at a couple of years ago at the, uh, the Walter Mitty, and he's just, he's every bit of a nice guy as he is in person as he is online. And if you have any question about LSs, uh, the, uh, the, the, what's the, the kit that they, they're bolting onto him now, the, uh, the tube frame. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Exosets. 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 He's all about the exosets. He's all about the LS conversions. And of course, you know, he's run the Targ, Targa Florio. This guy is, this guy's forgotten. Targa, 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 Targa Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Targa Newfoundland. Targa Florio. Oh, Targa Florio. Oh, my bucket Ta list. Oh, on our yes. bucket list. Oh, crap. And, and yeah, and, he, and here's the thing is he did it with his wife and they stayed married. So yeah, Keith Tanner is, is about as awesome he as they seem, make He him. seems like a genuinely good guy. He is. He really, really is. Nice, nice, nice guy. Jim, what's up? So I have a quick LS question. You fit one into a Zuzu Oh, yeah. <laughs> Totes, absolutely. <laughs> when are we doing it? We're not. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> Why? Because we beat cars with LSs yeah. who Totes. don't follow us on the podcast. Sorry for party racing. They don't, have, <laughs> they don't have an LS. <laughs> no, well, they, they, got, they got a tree fitty. Yeah, you're right. They got a tree LS. fitty. All right. Fitty. Uh, I do need to, we need to pause this real quick, really to answer a Facebook Live question, not so much okay. as, a, as a, a listener question. But uh, uh, what? Well, <laughs> because. Because Jeff is tired of having the trailer in his yard, Bruce, and and I need something to haul cars around with. So mental, it'll rust less when it gets to the south. So is this Jeopardy? The question is, why is Jeff selling the trailer? <laughs> Actually, the question is, did I phrase why is, that correctly? Why is mental in PA? Is he, is he taking half magic trailer home? Yes, 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 yes I am. Half yes, I am. Do the judges and, count that as acceptable as answer for Jeopardy? <laughs> wait, 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 wait for it. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank we have, you, Alex. We have a few other quick things just because we're on Facebook Live. So um, Dave and Bruce are watching. Hey. Uh, hey, guys. Vicky is still here. I, I apologize. Totally Sorry. I apologize. And, um, we'll keep him as long as we so can. So Jen is now. <laughs> so you have to apologize and say that you get a lot of baked goods plus ice cream made just for you. That's true. So ice cream. Jen is watching. Oh, now I'm going to yeah. tell my mother wow. that you were ungrateful. So don't I'm do that. I'm ungrateful. I love I'd like to cookies. point out, Chrissy's mom, that the rest of us are totally not not ungrateful. We are all quite grateful. Because I just three recalled, of us actually. Are very so, grateful. And four, your, four of us are all grateful. Your father is also watching. I, also, I just recalled, though, Chrissy's mom did make me a special little container of cookies that Chrissy brought back after cookie day. So I also got a special container just of cookies because Chrissy's mom is great. And 
Chrissy and her mom stuffed so many Oreos into some ice cream for me oh. that it was about equal equal parts Oreos and ice cream. Okay, and it was delicious. And that's, that's a skill. Right, right, we can move on. Can we can we talk about cars for no. a change? Yes. Cookies. Chrissy's mom. Uh, there there is another news and notes. I'm just going to breeze right through Please it. Do. Everyone can go Good. read it on Done. Facebook. There was this jerk on Facebook. I posted it about a week ago. He wrecked his Expo or Polaris or something. I can't that, tell. That three-wheeled death trap crap. Something. Yeah. Um, he no, no one that buys one of those wants attention. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. He was, <laughs> he was canyon carving somewhere in California, and he like nearly went over the line. He hit the wall. He jacked it up, and he said, look at how fast I am. At one second, you can see the truck in my my helmet. At two seconds, you can see me already correcting. And then at three seconds, he hits the wall. Oh, my God. And he immediately says something like, all you bleepity bleeps who are going to slag me, don't slag me. Hmm. <laughs> and too late. Yeah, too late. This very, very nice person named Bill Caswell <laughs> started telling him about, hey, not to get bad on you, but... It looks like maybe it was slightly your fault, and here's what happened. And I'm being very polite here, and I'm not trying to be mean. And the guy starts going, no, you're a jerk-off. No, you're a jerk-off. Oh. And no, the, you're to a Bill, no, you're to a Bill. To Bill. Bill. Right? And, oh, then, nice. and then someone says... The man that drives says, a scout say, everywhere. Hey, Bill Caswell, whoever you are, <laughs> have you been licensed as a racer? Because I don't know you. <laughs> like, he literally said... Have you ever been licensed by the SECA or NASA? Uh, and I was like, "There's that FIA organization." Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, he's yeah, got a license those, those from Those paltry them. little fools. Yeah. I met Bill at an AR race two years ago, and he's he's exactly what you expect him to be. Manic, a bit. And here's a, and and dude, you want to epitomize zero Fs given? Uh, Jeremy Piven, not uh, not Jeremy Renner, bought the the rights to his story a couple of years ago. So that's like kind of how like how he makes a living. And, you know, so Bill just does whatever he wants, just literally goes through life doing whatever he wants. Bill is like my hero because he has like no schedule. He's just like, eh, yeah, I'm going to go hang out here for a while. Two, two of my va most favorite things that ever happened at a race is I posted about getting punted in the boat by an E30. <laughs> and Bill Caswell <laughs> liked it on Facebook. On our <laughs> and then when Randy Pope signed my Rolls Royce shirt yeah, and he said, Hey, you know there was these guys who raced a Rolls Royce. I was like, "That's us." That was at an AER race, also. Okay. All right, all right. All right. Okay. Uh, listener yeah. feedback. We yeah. have got so much awesome listener feedback we because did. we have awesome listeners. All and, and all, of them. all fives of them are listening right now. <laughs> I, there might be tens. There's, there I think, oh. tens. So, there so tens. mental. You posted a question on Facebook. Review it and do the first couple. So, but well, because we talked about the before Christmas episode, and it was what do you want for Christmas? And a lot of people, we had some really good conversational topics about that. So we asked the obvious follow up question: What'd you get? For example, uh, my friend Dustin, you know, from GRM board, also a Fat Crack Racing. They're racing down in Sebring. Good luck, guys. He got a awesome Logitech G920. What that means is he's got the simulation steering wheel that will actually turn 920 what? degrees. So it's like a real car wheel, not this nonsense that you get on the Sony PlayStation. So he's, he's My, my real up car on... wheel doesn't go 900 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your S10 does. No, the S10, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we so put, we put the fast track in that. Wow. Yeah, no, he, he, he got a wheel to simulate the boat. So it'll actually yeah. be like a real. And then uh, Jerry, who I'm racing with in February, against you two oh, uh, hey. in Hamsa and the. Uh, on, bitch. Uh, oh, no, it, yeah. yeah. You don't want a piece that. of Queen Elizabeth. I'm just telling you right now. Uh, we're in Hamsa's car. You've driven car. Hamsa's car. We're you know how it's going to go. I've driven Hamsa's car. It is friggin' phenomenal. And I've also. I've. Jerry's okay, just tell the, Thunder, what, what the Thunderbird is more geared towards All my right. style. Okay, oh, stick to this. Jerry, to Jerry, got his, Jerry got, and I quote, this man runs a construction company that builds clean rooms for hospitals. So I want to put that in perspective when it says, I got a Bluetooth thingy so I can play my iPhone through my old school soft glide Harley radio when he's riding around. But yeah, Jerry's a fantastic guy. But he was and excited about it. He's extremely excited about it because he, he, you know, he's a parrot head. He does all that kind of stuff. He rides his Harley. And yeah, he's he's hardcore. Got it. Chrissy. So Josh H., uh, wrote to us and said that he's a hard oh I'm sorry he's a hardcore wrencher for Team Road and Track and Friends he got a torque wrench and he's so excited and a sonogram 
Christ. Dun, dun. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh. Makes race cars go away. <laughs> I'm sorry. So our friend Matt F., oh, a fellow lemoner, um, he got some fancy Alpine Star Great driving Ooh, those were pretty, those so were pretty sweet. About. If you we're, go to our Facebook page, awesome. those are pretty we're, dope. We're classing up Matt here. Yay. <laughs> He's right. excited. So uh, Carl A., he posted on the Facebook that he wanted a really cool Cheez-It suit. Yes. And I mentioned last week that I posted a picture of one. Oh, yeah. And I have no idea why he suggested Cheez-It suit. Because it's awesome. But then he posted totally awesome. his picture of his Cheez-It suit. Oh, yeah. So I have no idea whether he already had purchased the oh, Cheez-It no. suit. I think he got I think he got the suit. one. No, I, I, think he, yeah, I, got it. I think he got it for Christmas. Congratulations, Carl. You right, got yeah. a Cheez-It, Cheez-It suit. Cheez-It suit. Uh, and I, I hear, is he going to be providing uh, any appropriate snacks? Oh, yeah, he <laughs> so, is. So he said he will be providing the Cheese Whiz at Barbara. Oh, Excellent. Oh, no, 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 no. Cheese Whiz on Cheese its Cheese Whiz yeah, on Cheese its okay. yeah, Absolutely. Right. Yeah, totes. That's fine. You, you uh, can't go wrong there. I will be missing that. Sorry. Albert W. got a DeWalt rolling toolbox mm-hmm. to haul his tools to the racetrack. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Actually, and you, the setup he posted on there is actually a pretty sweet setup. I didn't, I didn't see the pictures. I was and, busy. And I got some listener feedback that's not about what you got for Christmas from Craig L. He is uh, the captain of the Terminally Confused team that I raced with down at CMP. <laughs> and I, and, when and I was, a wicked barbecuer. Uh, oh, no, that's, yeah. that's Kurt. Well, they're both They're good. both. They're both on it. K- Kurt, uh, Hi, Craig, Craig and Craig, Kurt. Hey. hey. So Craig is an apprentice barbecue, uh, but <laughs> Craig, Craig is also a Honda ninja, uh, which is great. Truth. And Craig... Craig said, hey, much improved since the first episode, which um, I, I subjected them to on our ride back from the uh, <laughs> oh, no. ride back from the, hey, hang on a the parade. Let me, get, let me get the tube of mockery brought to you by the GM T-800. You mean back when I was still trying to figure out my <laughs> microphone? Yeah, that's exactly oh. what it was. So um, we subjected them to that, and they gave us some good feedback on how to improve, which is great. And he, Craig said uh, that he started listening because of CMP, but, quote, I kept listening since it's really fun. You guys do a good job of playing off of each other. So that's very nice. Thank you, Craig. And he also would like more Terminally Confused mentions. So, hey, Terminally Confused is a great team. Yeah, Terminally Confused is a great team. And they run a great show. And Craig and Kurt were great hosts to us and to me, well, and they're always great. They're always welcome in our paddock, that's for always. sure. So thanks yep. for that one right there, Craig. We appreciate it. Terminally Confused. Also, on our Facebook page, we got uh, Brent, one of the Apocalyptic uh, Racing Brothers, told us that our Everyone Racers podcast is very informative, recommended to budget racers everywhere. Your check is in the mail, oh, Brett. Thank so you. Great. Very nice. Very Thank nice. Thank you. Wow. All right. Let's go on to our main topic. Main topic today, Christmas has come and gone. We already said what the listeners have received. What did we know what we asked for? Because that was last week. So did you get what you wanted? Bonus? What is the favorite gift that was given to you? Mental, no, let's go back you to you. Gave. All right, well, my oh, that lo- you gave. I'm sorry. Yes. The favorite gift that you gave. So my loving wife, and if everyone would say hi to Vicky. Hey, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Hey. Uh, my wife uh, gave me a totally sweet, awesome, janky-ass trailer. I'm sorry. Yay. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally no. awesome. That's not even no. close. It's a relative concept. Sad. <laughs> okay, is that is that all you have? You it's all you got? Well, um, from a gearhead perspective, you know, I got no. I it got doesn't have to the, be I gearhead. Got all, I got all the cool stuff. Uh, you know, the, the wife got me. Uh, you know, probably a little too personal. We got uh, really good underwear. Yeah, I need. I Matching. Need, oh. I needed some new underwear. Oh, and, cute. Uh, Banana uh, hammock. Really all around. Nice, Wait, my, did it look like this? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> little, little less thongy. Okay, got it. <laughs> Only a little. <laughs> Only a little. Uh, and then uh, my brother got me the cool, uh, the, the new iPhone pod earphone thingies, which I did while I was doing all my yard work. So, they, yeah, they're, that's fantastic. Great. Nice. That's it. Uh, Chris, you're up next. Uh, I got basically everything I was looking for this is last a, episode. This, this is, is a grotesque list yeah. as I'm looking through these notes. I'm a little jelly. You know what? Because people love me. Aww. Just Aww. one person, apparently. No, several. No, a lot of them. <laughs> several. <laughs> So I got a Makita LXT 3.8 inch impact gun to go with the other one, the half inch one I have. Got a Makita cordless Sawzall. Got some Carhartt gear. Got some flannel lined pants. A new blue hoodie to replace that ancient one that ever that's all disgusting that everyone's seen me wear for years and years and years at every single it work week in our cold race. It's not going it's away fantastic. though. It's staying around. It, it's we still all around, but that. I got a yeah. new one now, which is nice. Um, got a new Patagonia hat and some socks and a warm work jacket and work gloves and boat shoes and work shoes and <laughs> electrical <laughs> crimper connectors and, and, and booze and more <laughs> but wait there's more my favorite gift that i got was a hella sweet 
EF Civic Hatch oh. Hot Wheels Christmas ornament, which is right here. There which you, go, you know what? Live. Yeah, Facebook Live. Check that thing out because it is it EF, is pretty, EF for life. It is yo. pretty sweet. I'm gonna take a picture of that and post it up, and then tag the OK Speed team. They yeah, don't make any more. I bought. Well, yeah, this, I bought this the only all. one. Nice. No, this is the, it. The, did you the, did you buy it or did you make it? I no, I bought it from Etsy. Uh, Etsy. From Etsy. You this can is find them. Totally a Hot Wheel. <laughs> but with, you can, with a screw in the room. Can you, yeah. screw but in the room. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a Hot oh. Wheel EF hatch. You, but you right. can't it's, find. It's a JDM EF eight. No, you can't find. You find them and put a put a loop on it. I will. I'm down. Do it. Sweet. Uh, and challenge. And my, the, challenge accepted. Yeah, right. <laughs> the favorite gift that I gave was either got Chrissy some nice diamond earrings, and I got whoa. My, yeah, I got my lasers mom in my eyes. Some right. snow tires and wheels for her new CX-5 because nothing says exciting gifts like snow tires. Nothing says exciting gifts like, hey, mom, I I know you wrecked the uh, the wagon, not your own fault. I'd really like you to stay alive for a while. You know, she has not. She, she has she not. Loves been, she, them. Right. She hasn't she's been without so snow tires since about 2001. She's always had all-wheel drive and snow tires. So uh, she doesn't know what the world is like when driving in snow is not a big deal. And she's deal. also in Boston, so right. there's a lot of they. Sometimes it's a lot of snow. You needed yeah. it. So yeah, I got yeah. I got some junkyard Mazda CX-7 17-inch wheels, which are a minus two for her car, and got them mounted up and put them on her car. When minus we're there, we're good. two. Yeah, car comes with nineteen. Seventeens. Yeah. That, oh my god. It's, she got the grand three. touring. Comes with nineteen. I, actually, you know what? I was looking at a Mazda six when I was buying my three, and it was the same thing. And I was like, I do not want a car with nineteens. My like, Mercedes is nineteens. You know how many wheels yes, I've bent? That's a, <laughs> yeah. All of them. All of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I I do not want a daily driver with nineteen inch wheels. All right, you ready to go? Oh, me next. Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. So uh, I am also about to show something off. The lovely and talented <gasps> Jennifer. Oh, yay. I can't got wait. A new. Solar Se- Seiko uh, watch. Try not to throw that one on the racetrack. Right? Yes, I will try not to. <laughs> I, I, I now have enough junkie watches that I will wear. So it is a Solar Seiko, and it is black Ooh, and silver. It's beautiful. And that's, that's, we were that's dope, we were looking at a fantastic Jimmy Johnson model Seiko, but it was blue and stainless. And I was like, I love that watch, but I already have a blue stainless. I need something else. You're and kind she of a got watch. something, one. something watch. elegant and classy. That's right. I'm a watch nerd. But nerd. It's, <laughs> <but> <laughs> they're all kind of crappy though. But no, the yeah, no, thing is, 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 is you're right. literally you're like the lemon because I've got friends who are high end watch nerds. I'm you know, the, and you're yes. you're the lemons watch nerd. Val- you know, it's called the, value. The Seikos from yes. uh, from India and the, all that. The Seikos from stuff. India are definitely cheap. Like, <laughs> my friend Jack was bemoaning his uh, his uh, his Speedmaster that he sent in to get like just fixed. And they re completely restored. He was like, "Oh, but it lost all the character that it had." Yes, I'm there. I'm the character watch guy. <laughs> Still a speedmaster. I, I I am the I am the mid level watch guy. They, my my tag definitely has a lot of character, and I'm okay with that. Yes. Yeah. No. And he Quite. wanted it to keep the character, but they completely restored it, and he's kind of bummed about it because he's like, "No, I mean every dent, every dent and scratch and everything on this, I knew where every one of those came from, and now it's like a completely new watch, and he's a little upset. It's still better than my tag that's sitting at the bottom of Buzzard's Bay. Oh, <laughs> you went to pull a line and it went just. <laughs> I, I am definitely, but but here's the deal. I also have standards. Everything I have, except for one of them, does not run on a battery. Oh. Solar or mechanical. Oh, 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 that's good. That, 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 so you're a watch hipster. I am hipster. So anyway, so I got the new Seiko, which is probably the favorite. Which, I also it's a, it's got, a, folks, if you're not seeing this watch, it's pretty dope. I, I'll post it. It's, mm-hmm. it's a it's a multi hundred dollar watch, not a multi thousand dollar watch. So um, I also got a new LED light. Oh. That is just like Chris's. Oh, yeah. And it's it was so given to me US, by mini USB. Mini USB. It was bought by Jim Sons. So th- I don't know how they did the research, Woot. but it's awesome. And the favorite thing I gave was what I gave to Jim. Yeah. So maybe I will pass the microphone. Do next. it. Jim. All right. So um, apparently. Hey, Jim. Yay. Yeah, you guys hey, talked about this last week from what I've told. So, um, and basically, it's this pair of shoes. It's this pair of shoes. This tell us, pair t- of tell shoes. us more about these pair of shoes. See, they're great shoes. Okay, New and Balance shoes. New Balance shoes. SFI tag. SFI. Yes. The perfect rated pit crew New shoes. Balance shoes. There you go, Facebook Live. Yes, SFI. they're fantastic. They're the right size. New Balance. And they're actually kind of cool looking. They're cool looking. I could probably wear those to work. Yeah. They look. They, they have so much more soul than a most of, of your shoes. I'm hey, gonna yes. say. And Jim, they're a lot better to bring to a race in Atlanta than boat shoes. 
in the winter. Well, Just I, not by much. I, I don't know. They have no, a lot of pretty much anything is oh, better. Than they have, I'm sorry. Were you guys cold in Atlanta? No, no, no. no. Okay, yeah, so, no, but yeah. but Jim's shoes. He only had one pair of degrees. shoes, and they were wet, and they were boat shoes. They were. So yeah. he only. What are you had complaining had about? Fifteen degrees. It's going to be seven tonight. <laughs> so, but the problem is that and I think that those those shoes that you're that you got, they're very. They look very airy. Like they, they look, are. they have a lot of air into. So even in Atlanta, when it's cold, it's still going to be disadvantage but yeah they're gonna have a lot of the, the rest of the racing season when it's 105 you are going to be quite comfortable and fireproof absolutely uh, so well uh, my favorite gift that i uh, i gave this uh season oh, has got to be um the meat grinder attachment i got for my mom <gasps> for her KitchenAid mixer Yay. <laughs> it's the <laughs> best <laughs> everyone she loves meat grinding <laughs> really we've done it <laughs> i'm she, not convinced she's okay. been gaga about it the entire time since she opened it. Because who doesn't and love grinding meat? <laughs> <laughs> the second best one was the, the display case I got for my brother for his watches. Oh. And actually, I had oh, it on my display. notes, but I didn't get to mention it. I also got a new watch box Ooh. for my brother to show off on my watches. Dope. All right. Chrissy, Dope. what's Chrissy. up? Oh, so I got everything I asked for. So I really asked for um, a new set of earrings uh, because Chris said he bought me a starter. I got a starter pack. <laughs> um, a nice <laughs> starter, some uh, diamond earrings, and I asked for some nicer ones. Well, which you I didn't, got you didn't lose them. the first round after several years, so it was okay. Love them, yeah. Um, and so I got a. I asked for a pair of mechanical me- mechanics gloves, and I uh, got a pair, and I bought myself a pair. So we got two pairs. That's great. That's like Cole's cash. You but buy but yourself. <laughs> you buy <laughs> gifts for your friends, and they're like, "Come back after Christmas and buy crap for yourself." Right. So but I th- just th- that that plays into your thing about last week about having the two pairs, one to put. In front of the radiator to dry off and warm up while you're wrenching on the car. So I have a couple pairs, and you know they're slowly losing fingers. So this time I just I just have two. I'll just throw them all out, and I start now nah, start fresh. It's awesome. So I also got a stock motor mount, so it's going to replace these the uh, solid one that I have. It's going to make the my big block three. Let's mention my car. <laughs> yeah. Yes, your yeah, car is right. a big block three. <laughs> big block right. three. <laughs> the big block three. The big block three. Because it's so loud. So we're gonna yeah. that's gonna fix it. It, it does limit engine engine movement very nicely, but it also triples the nvh yeah the so. thing is and loud right it yeah. is loud but it's uh it's this is car. what chrissy's three sounds like <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much that's awesome um all right so when i also got a new fitbit which is great because my last fitbit i love fitbit so i'm i'm not the target market i love you know i i work out a lot and don't really need a fitbit but um this one really motivates me i've it it bothers me every every 200 uh, every hour to move so, so, so I like. Wait, so is it, I mean, is it like snotty? Like, why are you sitting about? Basically, yes. Oh, I'm going to stretch the every hour in your back. It's and not make German. It, into a, and make it, it into is a German. Flabba, flabba hammock yep. So you can lay every back hour, in your every hour, it's going like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Are you sure you don't want to move? Stop, stop punching that's me to does. make that point. Anyway, so that's what it does. Um, you don't need a Fitbit. You I got need boxing gloves. That hurt. <laughs> I got some socks. <laughs> And, uh, and we got this awesome sign. So Jen, who is uh, still listening, yeah, Jen, yes. made and, this and go awesome back sign. This, go back and watch our Facebook live because really. we're doing it totally behind this awesome sign. She made an awesome sign. She painted it and says, "Everyone get to the paddock and with uh, with this sign with E U N R and uh, three P, and awesome. which is awesome." Um, and my favorite, favorite gift, gift given? favorite gift given was um, I got so, so I I gave a lot of uh, Chris. He needed some a lot of new pants and. Or his car at sweatshirt was terrible. Um, terrible. No, it was just ratty. It survived. Terrible. Character, I think, is what I think missing. I saw it walking around earlier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it you looked, walked in and said, oh, hello, Jim. He looked kind of homeless. It <laughs> looked like my racing suit smelled. Uh, sure. <laughs> so I gave him yeah. new sets because it just needed What's, to happen. What was funny is my friend Paul was here and I was wearing that and some other ratty Carhartts. And we went to Harbor Freight in the NSX. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I replaced all those things that have holes and stuff. And then I also gave my sister some really cool Star Wars stuff that she wasn't expecting. So that's that's my stuff. Star Wars stuff's always awesome. All righty. I loves. think we're done that. Uh, our time is slowly running away. Can we skip Hell is Sweet or About Terrible this week? Yeah, no. I don't think we really have anything. No, we, 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 we Are you going to come up with something on the fly? Not necessarily. Hell is sweet or but terrible. He's giving mental BAT. a whole bottle of tequila. Oh. Well, yeah, that and was, that was, a, that was oh. always a dumb idea. So, and, and along those lines, so I'm staring on Bring a Trailer, which I spend way too much time on. Yep. There is a 1995 BMW 540i six speed. Right now, it is sitting at $3,700. It'll go up. 
it will because it's a 540i six speed. So that's the V8. No, I With know the it's an E34. It's a, oh, it's yes. You could totally do your own Clive Owen Madonna imitation in that car, even though it's not an M5, but it doesn't well, matter. Th- that was an E39 anyway. I, where, I know, where, where is this thing? Bring a trailer. Let's bring a trailer. I, I, We're not I'll, 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 I'll short circuit it right no, here. Here, here, right there. Okay. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, hey, keep going. They're a great place to sell weird BMWs. I certainly enjoyed selling mine there. Well, not just weird BMWs, weird Rolls Royces. And uh, soon to be soon weird Citroën. Citroën. <laughs> yeah. Rhode Island, get back to me. <laughs> Please. All right. We don't care. You know what's you know what's but terrible? Just when, a tip. When this show oh. goes to bring a trailer. No. <laughs> wait, this show goes Actually, When this no, no, no. show goes to bring a trailer, it screeches to a halt. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Oh yeah, no, Let's I just agree. keep going. Let's get to our favorite part of the podcast. And those in Facebook world can now see how we do it. It's just, just the tip. I laugh every I laugh every time because it's just hilarious. Just the tip in space. Pigs. 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 I don't know, but, but just a tip in space. I like no. where that goes. <laughs> no, no, so it's not Chris, Chrissy, no one enjoys Chrissy, that. Everybody shut up. Chrissy, tell us what we got going. Okay, so I found this uh, safety poem, and it's a lot about, uh, <laughs> you, you'll hear about it. It's a little bit long, but we're going to take the time to do it because I think it's just a fun, different thing, different way to go, just the tip. <laughs> so, twas the different night before Christmas, and at the Claus place, Old Santa was angry, turning red in the face. Who's Who used my sled and brought it back broke? Dancer and prancer? No, I'm in no mood for your jokes. Honey, answered Mrs. Claus with calm and a slight grin. The elves were out earlier, joyriding again. The sled's beaten up and the rain's a bit stuck. So for Christmas Eve, you must take the truck. I'll ask Father Time to put a hold on the clock to give you time to get everywhere here to Bangkok. Give the deer the night off, but take an elf or two and follow my safety tips so you know what to do. Driving a truck isn't like steering your sled, and if you're not careful, you could wind up dead. Listen here, Santa, as I explain how to winter drive to deliver your toys safely and come back alive. Santa paused for a moment and listened to his wife, for ignoring Miss Claus could have cost him his life. The first thing you should do is check out your ride, look over and under, around every side. Clear away snow and ice from your windows and lights off the hood and roof to not impede your sight. All fluids should be full and right to the cold, right for the cold. They make extreme weather washer fluid, so I've been told. I think it's orange. Unlike your sled and deer, trucks must be driven slow. What? I don't like this already. <laughs> so you don't lose control and end up in the snow. <laughs> like you Don't did. tailgate. Don't speed Seriously. and keep your eyes on the road. Did you write this part for me? No. Remember those <laughs> presents and give you quite a heavy load. Your stopping time is longer. Allow plenty of space. Between you and other drivers, remember, this isn't a race. Oh. See, there's limits. <laughs> Cruise control is no good in rain, snow, or ice. Even four-wheel drive is not an invincible device. The truck has ABS, so don't pop the brakes, dear. To slow the truck safely, simply stop and stomp and steer. If you start to skid, move your foot from the gas to the brakes. Steer in the direction of the skid. That's all it takes. Or stand on the gas and turn your hand out the window and say, Dorito! Stop it! Back to the poem. Don't panic or pump or swerve side to side. Stay calm and drive safely, or this could be your last ride. If you're stuck in the snow, turn your wheels, but don't spin. You'll just dig yourself deeper and become stuck again. (laughs) Turn your wheels so you'll move out of the snow, the snow out of the way. Have emergency gear aboard so you, so it is sure you'll pay. Oh, or to pay. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't rhyme. Shov- Keep going. A, sh- a shovel, cat litter, salt, gravel, or sand. These things, no doubt, will give you a big hand. And help you out of the rut and back on your way so you can deliver the toys before Christmas Day. Yay. Speaking of gear, here are more things you should take. A safe, warm, and less stressful trip they will make. A blanket matches whistle, flashlight, and rope. Change of clothes and some food will make it easier to cope. Keep your cell phone handy, but don't call and drive. Jeff. <laughs> no. And definitely don't text while steering to save <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> things, Jeff. Now, Santa, I know it's a lot to learn to dash, but it's easy, and you'll remember it all in a flash. Santa stood up and smiled. His face was less red. He had listened to everything Mrs. Claus had said you should do for that. once. Yes, please. 
He was jolly and happy back to his old self and no longer mad at the mischievous elf. He checked the truck over, under, and side Good to idea. side, loaded the toys, and prepared for his ride. Just before Santa took off on the dark, starry night, he exclaimed, I'll be careful and return safely tonight. Aww. 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 That's fantastic. What's our time look like? Our time is uh, 54.34. Oh, oh wow. We hey, start commuters, talking. you might actually listen to all of this before you get to the parking lot. If line. you have a sad commute, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or you live in Atlanta, I'm just saying. So I, j- I just wanted to add something before we go for, Please our, do. for all of our listeners. On our Facebook page, uh, we just uploaded all of the Atlanta video. Oh. So all of it? <laughs> wait, yes. wait, all like 12 wait. minutes? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, the, oh, just oh. the driving stuff. Oh, okay. the driving the videos. Driving okay, because so, yeah, no, the the, the podcast oh. video has been up for a no, while. No, no, no. I'm saying the, the driving, the race driving from the Honda. All of it, right? Okay. All Help. of it is up, and I want to just give a couple of shout Uh-oh. outs here. Um, I have your spin. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have my totally my fault. Hundred mile an hour stall and restart. Yeah, and I'd like to say that you were talking smack about us visiting Black Flags, and you didn't self-report, you scumbag. No, for what? He asked, and anything. I said, "Don't." All no, but right. I didn't do anything. I'm just saying, my own wife is on here going, as long as he's not wearing a marital aid on his head. No, <laughs> no. So, but I had no reason to Black Flag. I didn't do. He anything. wore that later. <laughs> I, I I stopped in a straight line and didn't come near anything. Um, I also have a great conversation where Mental tries to explain why, oh, I got black flag and he didn't know who I was and blah, 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 blah. I stand by that statement. Cause, so, cause, and, it's and, fantastic. And, and, and Phil, Phil actually said the same thing the next day. He was like, oh, I know you online better than I know you in person. E- All e- right. E- either way, you're trying to get in the car to go back racing and Mental's like, he didn't know me. Why did I need a black flag? Don't, don't you worry. know who I am? Don't you know who I am? <laughs> and then Chris says, Chris says something about <laughs> get your thumb out of your butt and help me. It's hilarious. <laughs> I, I will mark all of these. And, and so you have my video of what the car is doing and what the car is doing. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> 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 all of that. Oh, no, 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 it's not a pop, 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 pop. So it's all there. I will link the entire thing. Um, where I have notes on it, so you can like open it and see what's happening during that time. <laughs> this is all on Facebook. So, good no, no, no I, I'm this. going to link the YouTube channel oh, on Facebook. So okay. it's like, <laughs> it'll all be there. Excellent. Wait, three the the three pedal mafia YouTube or does th- uh, does everyone racers have a YouTube channel now? Uh, I assume everyone racers does, but I actually yeah. loaded it on mine because that's what <laughs> I have the password for. And uh, Jim loaded Sunday on his, so it'll be Saturday and then Sunday. be some Wakeman. Be some Wakeman. Some Wakeman. But um, if any of you know anything that happened during your shift, just tell me where it is and I will also mark it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> anything else for the good of the paddock? What? Oh, Jim's got something. Yeah. Oh, Jim. you got to find uh, where uh, Chris is behind Greg before he uh, Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's true. I do get that. Spectacular, I think, is the word we're looking for on that one. That's right. So anyway, thanks for downloading us. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Everyone Racers Live We're edition. We're not going to apologize for this episode either. We That's hope you will good. join us in the world of driving, racing, and building because everyone can be a racer, even you. If you enjoyed this podcast, please hit the subscribe button on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. If you have questions or want to give us some show ideas, drop a comment on our Facebook page, Everyone Racers. Or like our race team Facebook page, Three Pedal Mafia Race Team. If you'd like to help us produce the show, donate to the cause at patreon.com slash everyone racers. No one cares. Just send a check. Just send a check. Or, um, or beer. Uh, beer. The list of people who should sponsor us. Extreme Experience. Honda Performance Continental Development. Honda Performance Development. Pizza. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hank Sauce. I forgot to mention. Berks Hank County Sauce. Gynecological Association. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. And General until Motors. next week, <laughs> keep the shiny side up. Unless there is no shiny side, then just keep the wheels down. Bye. Stay safe on New Year's. I'll stay safe on New stay Year's. Stay safe. Uber, folks. Bye. Stay sober. Bye. Bye.